Yo guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. I'm not gonna drag this intro out very long. I actually wanna get straight to work because I just got home from work now and I actually wanna get some work done before it gets too late. But like I said, let's get straight to today's video. To make a very long story short, I have basically been having issues with my carburetor. What happens is, as soon as I start the bucket up and the carburetor gets filled with fuel, the carburetor basically ends up flooding and the whole carburetor on the outside gets wet with fuel. So what I've done is I've actually bought a brand new carburetor which I'll show you guys in a moment and I'm gonna be replacing the carburetor in today's video. What I'm gonna have to do, these four 10 millimeter bolts that I know of that sits one here, one in the back, one on this side and one in the back as, on this side as well. And then I just need to loosen everything that connects to the carburetor. This filter I need to remove. This pipe I need to loosen because this is the supply hose from the fuel filter, which I'll show you guys as well. And then I have the choke cable over here. And then I also need to remove the uh, accelerator cable that sits over here. So that is the main things that I need to remove to get the carburetor loose so i'm gonna start by removing that and then yeah i'll update you guys as soon as i get something done actually before i start working i want to show you guys the parts that i uh, picked up today so over here what we got is basically a basic service kit this is the air filter i got some ngk spark plugs over here fuel filter and oil filter and then a five liter shell helix um 20w50 oil this is just to give this a, the back here service and then i also got some tie rod ends and some ball joints over here i actually ended up buying an undercoating gun as well because my dad's buggy project over there we still need to do the floor with some stone chips so this is what this is for this is the main part of today so i ended up picking up the cob from my book auto space in stuckland and as you guys can see there i paid uh, 1150 rand for the carburetor so it is a brand new aftermarket cob and i actually want to show you guys how good this thing looks So this is basically what I've been waiting for for the past almost two weeks because that has been how long the bucket has been standing.
So this is the difference between the old air filter and this is the new filter. As you guys can see, it's really dirty. Hey, what's that? First drive in the champ, going going well so far. What's it, Zoe Bosman? Yeah, and I going stick. So, we just need to cup a burn on This thing is just really here. dirty, so we just want to get to the garage and then I'll show you guys around as well as show you guys what we've done. Try and sum everything up. But yeah, see you guys soon. My bro, <laughs> bro, you flat in the back, you my bro. Oh, this Welcome back, guys. It's a new day, and as you guys saw, we fixed the, we managed to fix the bucket last night, and um, I actually took it for the first test drive after we fitted the new car. So what we're gonna do today? Same video. We are. I'm just gonna take a drive to Stellan Boss to my friend Shane. Shane from Late Late Customs. So we're just gonna go chill by Shane today. Possibly do some work on his car. And I also need to pick up some parts from Shane. So yeah, I just decided that I'm gonna take you guys with us on the journey. But before we can go, we need to give this thing a clean. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Guys, so we got here to Shane's house like a few minutes ago. We just like chilled for a few minutes. And the reason why I actually came today was to work on the yellow thing. We actually have some news for you guys, but for that, you guys will have to wait and check out the Little Lit Customs channel. So I'll put the link up to his channel up here and please go subscribe. A lot of you guys are from his channel. If you are from his channel, thank you so much for, for watching my videos. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. To a burnout! <laughs> Started talking about our bills and we're talking about future plans and all of that stuff, and I never really filmed anything. But I can tell you guys what we did today was we removed the rear shocks of the yellow tank, and it's laying right there. And I think you guys can probably tell what that means. But I'm not gonna say anything if you guys wanna find out what's gonna be happening. Do subscribe to the Lightless Customs channel, I'll put the link somewhere on the screen. 
I'm pretty sure most of you guys that are watching my channel are from the Lit Custom family, so go check it out. And yeah, that's all I can say. But you guys can expect something, some real nice content from Sony with this one. What color is this Oh, Amazon. What is that? Amazon. Wait! Oh, yeah. 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 Ha ha ha!